That's pretty cool. NASA is planning on building homes in a subdivision that is out of this world, and quite literally, too. It's not just for astronauts, but for average people like you and me. Uh, the space agency recently awarded a Texas-based construction technology company a $60 million contract to build moon homes for humans by 2040. Former NASA astronaut, current USC astronautical engineering professor and SpaceX senior advisor, Garrett Reisman has been on three spacewalks. He's joining us now. Professor Reisman, thanks for being here. Uh, it's a pleasure, Marky. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so civilian subdivisions on the moon by 2040, Mars apparently not long after that. Uh, looking into your crystal ball, do we actually see this happen? You know, I, I think we will get there eventually, no, no question. Um, as long as we uh, find a way to get along, I think humanity is destined to move out into the solar system. The moon's a good place to start, and as you mentioned, uh, Mars is really the goal. But the moon is a lot closer, and there's a lot we could we need to learn before we're ready, really, to head out directly to Mars. Yeah, we'll see if 17 years is enough time uh, to to figure it out, all the moving pieces. I, I wanted to ask you about this. I know that NASA, to build this, NASA wants to launch a giant 3D printer to the moon and use lunar concrete made of rocks, uh, mineral fragments, dust to layer the structures of these homes, basically using everything that's already up there. Why 3D printing? to build lunar habitats? Well, uh, in either going to the moon or going uh, onto Mars, uh, we really need to find a way to live off the land. The problem is, is that it's really hard to bring a lot of stuff with you. So, you know, mass, volume, these are all precious commodities. The rocket can only carry so much. So if you wanted to build a house on the moon and you needed to take cinder blocks with you, that's that's really not going to work. <laughs> uh, but if we can find a way to live off the land and use the resources that are available to us, uh, then uh, you can do a lot more and uh, construct a lot more. So if we could 3D print by using lunar regolith material to turn that into basically concrete to build our homes, that's a great way to go, and that's why NASA is interested in developing this technology. Yeah, there's no Home Depot up there to just go buy your lumber. <laughs> you can yeah. get all the supplies you need. I was also reading how expensive it is. Just each additional kilogram of weight carried on a rocket to the moon costs about a million dollars. Um, so not feasible there. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to ask you, you know, we probably have some viewers at home saying, I'd be willing to give this a try in 17 years. I mean, why not? But what kind of life would you warn someone that they'd be in for if they were one of the first to try this out? Because I mean, I imagine people wouldn't just have cars to go to the grocery store or the nearby airport every time they wanted to go on a vacation or go home. Uh, what do you tell folks who, who might want to try this? Yeah, if you're thinking about buying real estate on the moon, there are other considerations. And just like how good is the local school district? Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a harsh environment. You know, there's no air. It's a, you're in a vacuum. Uh, you, there, there's a lot of radiation uh, up there as well. And you're living in partial gravity. All these things can really affect your health and well-being. And so uh, it's not for the faint of heart. And you're right. There's no Home Depot. There's no... Uh, you know, restaurant to go out to. There's no pizza on the moon. Yeah, no uh, Trader Joe's. Yet, so <laughs> we'll get we'll get there though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you and I will check back in in 17 years, see if uh, if we've hit the goal, hit the mark. Uh, Professor Garrett Reisman, thanks so much for your time, sir. Really cool. Uh, my pleasure. Good to be with you. I'm telling you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.